Welcome back to this week's new makeup releases. I'm super excited uh, because there are things that are questionable, but also some good stuff. So if you want to see it, just keep on watching. And if you want to join me, then please uh, subscribe. I upload videos three times a week. I scoochie scoochie a little bit out, so I have space here. Let's start with this really interesting uh, palette from Byredo. It is a totally black palette. Like, completely black black. Uh, do you really need this in your life? I don't know about you. For me, it's not. It does have some special shades. It has also a glitter, if I'm not mistaken. It's matte metallic skin Scintillating, scintillating, shimmer matte and ultra glitter. I don't know what scintillating mean, but you see a picture here. It is stunning from the packaging, the idea. I mean, it's so cool, but it's uh, $67. So yeah, that's, yeah, it's a pass for me. But if you think this is one for you, then there it is. So happy that this is now come to an end. It's the last 12th Princess with Besame and Disney collection where I have this really, really pretty um, outer packaging where you can put in a highlighter. I think this is for the highlighter as you always have a uh, lipstick as well. This one is with Snow White. I mean, it's stunning. Like I said the last time where we had Moana, it's beautiful, but it's 125 bucks. And to be honest, it's just too much. Also, it's a collector edition. I don't collect those types of uh, packaging. So for me, it's a skip, but maybe it's something for you. KKW Fragrances is releasing three no uh, scents. Uh, the one is Opal Mood, Opal Drip and Opal Energy. To be honest, I'm really interested in trying the uh, KKW Fragrances. But to be honest, it's kind of difficult because we don't have them in Germany, I think. So I can't just sniff on them and see if I like them or not. So it's always like a guessing game. Do you like maybe the fragrance or don't you like the fragrance? So for me, this is a skip. They look really, really pretty though. Really, really pretty. And there is uh, the point that the bundle is 120 bucks. So if you like the bundle or you like uh, the notes, then maybe this is something for me. For me, it's a skip. A new palette is released. It's the Relentless palette by Playing in Makeup by Yolondo. I never heard of the brand, but it looks really, really pretty. It's a really colorful palette, you know, I love that. I mean, look at me today, uh, but it's 60 bucks. Um, to be honest, it looks really, really beautiful, but I never heard of the brand, so I'm not, I don't know about it. And also shipping, you, you got the deal. Uh, so this one is a skip for me. But I love the colors. I love uh, the shimmers on the side. Really, really nice. Also just mattes and shimmers, no pressed glitters. So this one is really, really interesting. Like I said, I'm not in it, but if you are, maybe this is the palette for you. Laura Lee Cosmetics is releasing a blush palette. The blush palette itself is costing $28, which I think is not that bad, to be honest. I don't like the palette looks stunning, but I learned that I don't use like uh, blush palettes. So for me, this would be a waste, even though the palette looks stunning. So um, yeah, this is a pass for me, but I think if you love blush palettes, then maybe go for this one. I think 28 bu bucks is really nice. The colors look really pretty. I don't like the highlighting blush one so much, but I think, you may, I mean, it's not because it's darker. For me, it's will be a quite dark shade, but I think if you mix them with the other shades, it's not that bad so like I said for me it's a skip but maybe it's a go for you blend bunny is uh, blend bunny cosmetics is releasing new brushes they look so pretty also the ombre on the uh, brushes so them pretty and cute I do love that there are just blending brushes you know I think that is also like do you get know that feeling where you always have bundles where you at least 
not using all of them because some of the brushes just not appeal to you or you don't need them. I think this one is quite a nice... Um, this one is quite a nice thing where you say, okay, it's just for blending, nothing else. And I do like that. The uh, bundle is uh, costing $32, which I think is a good price for five brushes. So this one is also interesting me because I do want to have the, uh, the Slurge palette. Is it this one? I don't know the one with the neons, the darks. This, this one is quite interested, uh, interesting for me. So um, yeah interested in this one. Bobbi Brown is releasing their Golden Illusion eyeshadow palettes. It's 59 bucks for a brown palette. Well, we we know, maybe we do, you don't know, but I do love Bobbi Brown lip products. I do love their lip oils, the crushed lip oils, the crushed lipstick, the crushed liquid lipsticks. You get the deal. I love them. But I never tried a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow palette and to be honest like this is not like a super special palette it's just a brown palette you can get that from Colourpop for like a fourth of the price I mean it's 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 pretty also the packaging is really really stunning but I don't get why you have to pay $59 for this so it's a skip for me mm -hmm. I love the idea from this one. It's from Fari Cosmetics. It's the In The Nudes Matte Eyeliner Palette. I love the idea. They are nude water activated liner palette with just brown tones, nudie tones. I love the idea from this. I mean, if you're not into colorful makeup or you, you don't need like a palette with colorful liners that you maybe never use in your life i think this one is stunning and you can just use like a dark black liner you can use a nude liner which is totally on trend and i love that you know i love the colors of this it's a it's an amazing idea do you have a price it says available now i don't know the price uh i will link like like always, I will try to link everything that I'm talking about in this videos so you can see the price there and just watch it. I, like I said, I love the idea. Maybe this is something for me. But on the other hand, I do uh, like I do have a lot of brown tones and I do have Duraline, which is a great mixing media, so I can do it my own. But if you like a waterline activated liner, this one is really, really pretty. Love Lux Beauty is releasing six quads yes six color variation of the chrome quads they look really really pretty uh i love the colors though they really really look pretty they are 20 bucks each which i think is for quad quite okay like look at the colors and uh, they look really really pretty definitely thinking about those Kai Love, I'm hoping I'm not butchering this, Kai Love Cosmetics is releasing their Le Jardin Volume 2 palette this is so 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 pretty. I love that she that this is really like flower colors. Like you have a pink, purple, like a more a reddish, orangey tones as well. And of course you have the leaf shades, which are two green shades. Do love those. And the packaging is stunning. I think the packaging is a little bit bulky, but it's all really really beautiful. I, it's a skip for me because I do have those colors, but it is quite affordable. It's it's 28 bucks, so it's really quite affordable if you love the colors and you get a hands on this quite easily. Go for it. Here is a limited edition from Seattle in London, and they did a collaboration with Christine Quinn. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I hope so. I don't know her. And they're releasing an eyeshadow palette, lip glosses, lipsticks, and also face powder. I have to say the uh, eyeshadow palette looks quite blunt. They are, it's not, you know, it's in the mid range. It's not really light. It's also not really dark. It's just mid shades. And I don't, like, there are, is one deeper brown. It's not really deeper, but it's a little bit deeper. And to be honest, I don't need that palette in my life. I think those colors look quite similar as well. So I think if you have any other palette in your life that has brown tones, I think you would be way better than uh, with this. Like, the glosses look pretty. They do have a flip. Oh, that's interesting. Like, I see that 
plumping lip glosses and it looks like on the second picture where you see the collection it looks like if they're cold they're darker and if they are hot they're uh, lighter and the other one is like a more pink shade if it's hot and if it's cold it's more of a berry tone this is kind of cool to be honest like the uh, lip gloss is also really pretty oh yeah there are two changing color changing lipsticks i'm so sorry i did didn't read that yeah this is this is kind of cool to be honest like the lipsticks are really really cool like the highlighting powder mm, don't interested in this the plumping gloss I, I do have quite sensitive lips so this is not coming into my house the palette is not not interested at all but like I said the lipsticks they are interesting Artico is releasing their new holiday collection which is called Dream of Diamond Lights Holiday Collection I know it's a mouthful uh, you do have a pre-made I think uh, eyeshadow palette which is standard not interested in that you do have a really really cool looking blush i have to say mostly the blushes and lipsticks are for me at least from interested in artico i do have some shades normally they do have like a magnetic click system and i don't think this is one of them like for the eyeshadow palette and i have to say i do have a few of the blushes and they look Really, really pretty. Uh, highly recommend Art Deco if you get them. Uh, also, they're quite affordable. They're not like Essence, but also not like, I don't know, uh, Dior, whatever. They are in the mid-range, I would say, a little bit higher, but not too expensive. They also have uh, the Diamond Eyeliners, I think, in gold and silver. Then the Diamond Beauty Dust, which I'm not interested in that. I just, I do like. They're way um, less expensive than the Urban Decay. And I have to say, my Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy is quite, quite, quite old. So I maybe, uh, you know, replaced it with gold and silver from Art Deco. Why not? Um, and also they have glitter lipsticks. Diamond Beauty Dust Glitter Lipsticks. Yes, uh, I don't know if they, like they look, on, on one picture they look like those um, diamond lipstick where you, you know, you, they, they see, they look like felt but with, with uh, glitter and on the other picture they like, just look like glitter is embedded. I don't know which, maybe it's both, I don't know. Maybe it's both. Yeah, that's the, I, I think maybe the blush maybe the um eyeliner i do like them and maybe one of those um glitter shades that is like the velvet with the glitter outside i do love those and i i definitely want to have one <sighs> just need to have it so this one is on my wish list harry styles is releasing his new makeup skincare um, nail polish brand i'm not sure if, if one of this is correct to be honest he's releasing some nail polishes uh the pearl with pearl polish and also a tops pearl, pearly tops polish so both is 20 bucks um each if you uh, buy the whole set it's 65 dollars i do have to say they look stunning like the packaging like the uh marble top beautiful do i want to have it Nah, I do have a lot of nail polishes. I do try to change it up quite a lot, but to be honest, I do have over 100 nail polishes and they look stunning. There is no question to be needed about this, but this is not something I would buy, especially if they don't come to Germany. They are quite you can't get a hold of them it, because they are on nail polishes the shipping will be horrendous there also is um, a skincare line where you have an illuminating serum as well as a pleasing pen it's in cooling steel roller and refresh eye and lips um, the serum is 35 bucks the pleasing pen is 30 bucks not interested in this like i said it's maybe not good to get a hold of in germany if you ever come to germany i would love to try the products but so far it's a pass for me it's bell cosmetics has a new palette it's the downfall palette and this is looking stunning 
and I mean stunning, like stunning, stunning. I mean, those are like the perfect fall colors. It's more of a darker mood, to be honest, and it just has one lighter shade, but it is so, so, so pretty. It's $45, and I definitely think about this one. This is so, so damn pretty. Do you remember when we last week talked about Denline uh, Cosmetics? And today there are, uh, a, like I talked about the blue shades and this is the fitting palette. I do love it. It's 12 shades, uh, shimmers and mattes. It's, um, you can buy every single shade separately for $4.50. And if you want to have the whole palette, it costs, costs 50 bucks. And... Or you can buy the single shadow bundle for 40 bucks. So if you are, don't want a palette, you can just skip on this. But if you do want a palette, you have it all in one. I do love the colors. I do love greens. I do love those blue tones. There are also like brownish, reddish, orangey shades. Like this palette is speaking to me on so many levels. So, so many levels. It is so stunning. So stunning. Make Beauty is releasing uh, a capsule overnight recovering balm. Uh, I will put in a picture here. It's, this, it's a night cream, like saying like this, it's a night cream. Overnight to hydrate, replenish and act as a sealant to real a radiant, well-rested complexion the next morning. So it's a night cream. Uh, the point I do love a lot is that it is refillable. So you have those capsule and then you can just change out the capsule if your uh, balm is empty. I don't know how much is it. It is uh, 28 bucks and the refill is 20, uh, 34 bucks. Did I say 24? It's 38 bucks and the refill is 34 bucks, which I think mm, it's it's okay Do it say how much? Is it a 30 ml like one fluid ounce? I don't know, but yeah Like I said, it's it's interesting to be honest. I do love the concept uh, But to be honest, I'm good with my skincare at the moment. So this is a skip for me. Maybelline is having some new products. There is the Lash Sensation Sky High Cosmic Black Mascara. I just think it's a different shade, to be honest, because we did, it's like a black tube. I think it's just uh, maybe a, a dark shade, maybe it's waterproof, doesn't say here, does it? No. No, I don't know. I don't know what a, what's new about that, but it looks different. So maybe it's a darker shade. It also has a Super Stay Active Wear Liquid Concealer for 12 bucks. Like, why not? I think this looks really interesting. And they also have some new uh, Super Stay Matte Inks. You know, I love those in uh, two other birthday colors. Like, they're not nothing for me, to be honest, because they're quite pinky toned. Like, the concealer looks really, 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 really good. Definitely, like, the Sky High is not my favorite mascara at all because it does um, make my eyes... Um, like panda looking i did have it everywhere at the end of the day and it doesn't do a lot to be honest for me so this is maybe not my favorite mascara uh, but i do have to say i do like the maybelline concealers and so maybe i will try the concealer when it comes to germany morphe is having another collaboration this time it's with pony makeup i have to say i don't know pony i don't have her anywhere uh, or i'm subscribed to anywhere of her uh, stuff i do have to say like the palette is just way too big for me at least i i have to say i realized over time that those big palettes they are not travel friendly the the colors and shades may be uh you know uh repeat itself so for me it's a no i have to say like it's a lot of brown tones a little bit of cooler um ground with a few blues and a purple but i have to say if this would be a smaller palette i would be more interested in this and to be honest i don't trust morphe like quality wise it's not that i don't like them i do have the jack Lanel palette i did have the one before 
but yeah it's uh, yeah it's a skip for me they also have some uh, lip products that are ph changing also not my favorite type of uh, lip product and some face stickers i think yeah, body and face uh, embellishment, also not for me, so this is a whole skip for me. Makeup, oh no, it's not Makeup Revolution, it's iHeart Revolution, which is an underbrand of Makeup Revolution, is releasing their new Peak and Praline Tint Palette. I have to say, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, mostly these tint palettes from iHeart Revolution are dupes for the uh, Too Faced palettes, which also didn't palettes can't remember which one this should be but like i said it's more of a, a warm toned warm toned palette i would say with a with a teal it's it's a skip for me i don't trust iheart revolution revolution any of those with eyeshadow palettes to be honest i don't have anything against face products or lip products but eyeshadow palettes it's a skip for me likely makeup is releasing their ugly palette I have to say, I have to say, maybe you saw it in my last week's uh, Will I Buy It? I am more of a type that are more of a classic packaging type. The palette is really, really um, fully packed from the design. Uh, I have to say, this is the color story is so, so pretty. It's like a lot of um, shades. It looks like a rainbow palette, if I'm not mistaken. I do think, think the idea is really, really cool. You do have mattes and shimmers. Like the palette itself is really pretty. I will skip on this because it's nothing I do not own already. But it is really pretty. Like I said, the, the outside is more of a more of an artistic approach, let's say it like this. But I do love it that it is ugly and then also you do have those beautiful butterflies. I do like that. And yeah, if you uh, want to own this palette, like I said, I will link it down below. Terra Moon Cosmetics is losing... Lo Terra Moon Cosmetics is releasing new eyeshadows. They look stunning on the fingers. Definitely want to try those and so far I did have a good experience with Tabermoon Shadows So for me, this would be definitely a buy Definitely want to see what they have in uh, mind. We talked about the makeup eraser. It's Disney uh, Collaboration where they have all villains. They do have now a collection with just the uh, princesses with Ariel, Tiana, Pocahontas, uh, Snow White, Belle, Cinderella and Jasmine do find this is a really good thing. You can you can have both. Like <clears throat> if you're if you're feeling like really uh, devious and feeling like a really bad bitch, maybe use the villains. And if you're feeling really sweet and innocent, maybe use um, the princesses. Like I said, both sets are available now. Both sets are twenty five bucks. Barry M is releasing new makeup uh, eyeshadow palettes. I have to say I didn't hear from Barry M in years maybe 10 or 15 years to be honest i know that where i started with makeup in my early 20s i know i was a late bloomer um there was a lot of berry m that you could uh, use back then i was not interested in any of these to be honest but i know that berry m was more of a brand that also like german youtubers maybe use influencers uh but then i didn't hear from them like i said good 10 years so they're releasing three new eyeshadow uh, palettes or white life palettes yeah there's no price i do find the colors really pretty it's nothing i would buy to be honest because it's yeah, but I, I think they remind me a lot of the BH um, Say It uh, collection. Like this bluish, purplish uh, palette is reminding me of the one from BH Cosmetics. Yeah, like the one with the um, bug. I don't know, they they don't seem to have different names. One is with a bee, one is with a butterfly, and one is with a... Uh, is this a scarabeus? Like this kind of bug, this beautiful rainbow -y, um shifty bug. Uh totally forget which which one is which or is it a beetle? I don't know. Um not my first language is English. <laughs> this is not even a sentence. No, my, my first language is not English, so I don't know exactly. This one is the most interesting, I think, but like I said, I will skip on these. Pretty but not me.
Aure Cosmetics, this, the brand by Samantha Ravendahl, is releasing. I hope it's a brand from Samantha Ravendahl. I'm pretty sure it's a brand from Samantha Ravendahl. It's releasing new um, eyeshadows. I think they are like uh, like a cream eyeshadow, and then they also have like a powder eyeshadow. So this look really really pretty to be honest um the colors look stunning so far i don't have anything i'm interested in auric beauty so for me it's a skip but um, maybe you like those products colourpop uh, had released a rudolph uh collection like a christmas collection with rudolph the red nose reindeer to be honest it looks really really cute like the colors are definitely up my speed i love greens i love uh, more of a brownish reddish it's it's too much like i have to say i get it it's rudolph and rudolph is brown so it's a lot of browns then you have the nose which is red of course you do have a red as well and then of course maybe maybe from trees there is also a green i do like it but i won't buy it Long time no see, but Jado Beauty is releasing really brushes. I think they are all for, uh, yeah, this glowing skin brush set. Six brushes, limited edition, 75 bucks. I think they are all like skincare brushes. I mean, you could use them for whatever you like, but uh, yeah, it's a skip for me, 75 bucks. It's it's nothing, I, I, I have to say, I do have a lot of brushes, uh, so it's a skip for me need to have those but Revolution Beauty is collaborating again with Bratz and they put out four different palettes, lip products, brushes. We don't have to talk about this. I'm not interested in any of these. I'm not a fan of Bratz. I never had a Bratz doll when I was younger. I think they were like I was too old to have a Bratz doll so for me this is a total skip especially because it's Revolution. Anama Cosmetics is collabing with Disney as well. Didn't we talk about that Disney is working harder than Kris Jenner? Yes, they do. And they have the Encanto collection. I totally don't know. Oh, wait, hair. I totally don't know. But they do have an eyeshadow palette which looks stunning. I love the green shades and those pinky shades as well. Love it. They do have also face products, two blushes, one highlighter brushes as well as lip products and also a mirror that you can you know um that you can fold what do you say about this um wait a sec it's a magic mirror that you can like fold together so it's not so big i love it like definitely want to try anama cosmetics maybe not this year but definitely in 2022 Alien Cosmetics is releasing new lucent liquid eyeshadows. They look stunning, to be honest. I definitely love Nebula, but Makeaway is also pretty erase. They are so, so pretty. If I, uh, maybe not this year, but maybe if I order next year from Alien Cosmetics, because I do want to try Alien Cosmetics really, really badly, I will order maybe one or two. Do I have a price? It's $12.50 a piece. That's nothing. I mean, like, I, I would have thought that this would be way more higher in price. Definitely want to try those. Definitely. When you see this, maybe there are life now. Uh, Letha Cosmetics is releasing a new eyeshadow palette. Like, the looks of it, it looks really, really pretty. It has some um, pinky shades, a green, uh, maybe a gold, a silver, or black. Um, if I have a newer picture, I will put it here. If I don't... You won't see it till next week, maybe. Um, normally, I do like Lethal. To be honest, Lethal is not my favorite, favorite formula. But, I mean, if they have pretty shades, they also uh, release some multichromes. So, definitely interesting to buy from Lethal again. And the last release for this week is Colourpop and uh, Best Friends collaboration. They do this quite a long time, but I'm, I think quite from the start, that they are collaborating with Best Friends and then um, the, um, they donate donate to the Best Friends Society, which uh, helps dogs and cats. I love those. I did purchase 
Think One Bundle. This is a brown and a gold. I do love both shades. They look so, so pretty. Really, really pretty. Love the shades. Um, and if you want to support a good cause for animals, this is maybe something uh, you would like to, um, you know, uh, donate to. Thanks for being with me this time again for new makeup releases. And I'm lucky that you still are here <laughs> up to this this much i definitely think you can see that we go to christmas and that the collection you know go and go and go uh hopefully there will be some some uh releases where it's not so many things uh what tell me please tell me what do you like the, from this week's video what do you want to purchase and um, we see us next week uh, for the new makeup releases on Sunday as well as Tuesday and Thursday and we'll see us. So bye! Mm -hmm.